This is a short video on using the review and rematch tool within ArcMap to rematch your geocoded features. Uh, this is done after you run the locators from the geocoding folder and take the uh, inaccurate ones that have been gone to the postal level or the administrative places level uh, and you can go find a correct site for them that may have been missed due to error in the attribute table. So uh, as you can see here, I've already geocoded a list of urgent care centers across the state. If I open up my attribute table, you can see my first uh, field is locator name. This tells you how accurate it is. So point address being the most accurate, administrative places being the least. Uh, typically, uh, Everybody has zip codes in their addresses when they're uh, geocoding, so the ones that fall back on the postal codes are the ones we want to fix. So we can go into our select by attribute, go locator equals postal, hit apply, and you can see there's eight of them uh, that went to the postal. And if we look over a little bit, uh, this is where they matched to, so just to the postal code. But if we go all the way over to our actual record, um, you can see some of them that we've had trouble with. Uh, MLK usually poses a problem because people spell it differently, whether they spell out all Martin Luther King, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., MLK, Dr. MLK. There's many variations. Uh, the other thing you might want to see, uh, U.S. Highway 19 North. This could be due to uh, lack of a space in between 19 and North could be due to the periods that we don't need in between US. Um, so we're going to attack some of these and, and figure out why they might have uh, not have matched this one, obviously, because Southwest and 8th Street wasn't separated. So we can exit out of this, and we just right click, and we need to go to Data, Review Rematch Addresses. And this can only be done after you've used the street map geocoder. This is an option. And it takes a minute to load. Okay, so that took about a minute to come up. Uh, the first thing we're going to tackle is that uh, US Highway 19. Um, so what we have to do is we need to select out our eight postal um, matches first. So that can be done here from the show results. We need to create one. So we're going to go to manage result sets uh, and say new. We can go same SQL uh, expression we had earlier. And then we can't hit OK because we have to name it something. So we'll call it postal matches. And then hit OK. Hit close. And now when we hit this drop down again, you see postal matches shows up. And when I select that, here's my eight records that uh, I have from before. So the first one we're going to tackle is our oops, Highway 19, this one. Uh, and as you can see here, it went to the postal and this was the match. If we change this to all, these are all the places it found that it could have matched to, and it selected the highest score, which was 100% to this postal code. However, like I pointed out before, if we put a space in here, uh, maybe that was it, and hit search. Uh, it actually found a street address for it at um, US 19 North in Clearwater. Uh, that's pretty good, it's about uh, a little bit over 83 to a mailbox, so that's pretty good, but might be able to get it a little bit better. So if we get rid of these periods, if we can hit search again, and it actually found a 100% match to a point address on US Highway 19 North, uh, just from cleaning that up a little bit. So we can actually select that, and we can say match. And as you can see, it changed it it's now matched to this address and our locator name changed. Now it doesn't change the record name over here under street address. It leaves what we had. That's what's important about having the match address. It, you'll know what the difference is and how it matched to it.
The next one I'd like to look at is 357 Wakaiba Road. Um, this is where you might have to start doing some detective work and getting Google involved. Uh, so as you can see here, it matched 100% of the postal. It couldn't find this address. If we come back and go to all, um, it actually found a street address at 357 Wakaiba uh, Trail rather than Road in Longwood, Florida. Uh, but it only matched to a little bit over 83% on a street address. And uh, for street address, I think our default is 85. So that's why it didn't match with that one. Uh, so if we bring in Google Maps, we can actually search for that. We can go 357 West Wakaiva Trail. And uh, right off the bat, uh, it's telling me that West Wakaiba Trail is actually in Wakaiba Springs and not Longwood. So if I click on that, it actually finds uh, this spot here. Um, and what I can do is I can go back again and change this to West Wakaiba Trail and change it to uh, Wakaiba Springs. hit search and this is much better. It finds a 96% uh, street address. Uh, it's still telling me it's in Longwood, Florida actually. So there might be some dispute between the two. Um, but it uh, raises some suspicion to me because uh, when I look at this in Google Maps, um, this address is actually in a neighborhood uh, and these are addresses for urgent care centers. So I might want to go back and double check with my source and make sure this is the right spot that I'm looking for. But at the moment, uh, I'll make a note of it. And again, just kind of double checking with Google Maps because they have um, really good algorithms that can point you in the right direction. I've changed this to 357 West Wakaiba Trail from what was Wakaiba Road. This one most likely just needs uh, space in between it. Um, so this is probably an easy fix. If we hit space and search, uh, that fixed it real quick. And we can just click on it and hit match. And we're right on our way uh, to keep fixing a few of these. With this record, um, what I'm going to do is take out doctor because sometimes it thinks that it it's looking for uh, drive, for an abbreviation drive, so it's probably looking for 11752 East Drive. So we're just going to take out a doctor. Uh, we can search for that, and you can see it picks up um, East Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 100%. So that's perfect, too. For more information, you can go to the ArcGIS online resources page and just Google or uh, search up here for rematching uh, and reviewing geocoded addresses.